welcome back everyone maybe in a situation where for some reason your xbox one is just not starting up for some reason now the first thing i'd recommend doing here is understanding that it's probably not a serious issue your console is probably still going to work and all your data is probably still going to be there as well now the first thing i would recommend doing is actually making sure that your console was plugged in properly because if it was not plugged in properly or if the cord itself is faulty or broken that is probably one of the most common ways to go ahead and actually fix this specific problem so all you want to do is go and grab the cord of your specific xbox one the power cord you want to go ahead and plug it in and if it's not working on the outlet try another outlet try another outlet and that may end up fixing the situation as well now if that doesn't work but maybe your xbox one is powering on you may want to go ahead and check out if the hdmi cord and that hdmi toggle that you have for your source on your tv is actually enabled on the proper hdmi portion of your specific xbox so what this means is basically go to your sources or change the, your sources on your tv to that specific xbox source if it's automatic usually they'll detect it but that's another thing i'd recommend doing too now, now, if that doesn't work, I would recommend unplugging everything from your Xbox One. So taking, you know, everything away and taking everything off from your Xbox. And at that point, what I would recommend doing is actually making sure, just letting your Xbox sit there for about a few minutes. After a few minutes, you want to go and plug everything back in. And that may have actually ended up fixing the situation as well. Again, it's not a guarantee, but sometimes all you have to do is go and plug everything out, plug everything back in, and that may end up fixing the situation as well. If that still doesn't fix it, I would recommend going through and making sure that you didn't recently update your Xbox One or there were any issues like that. Because if you recently updated, sometimes there can be some issues there and you may have to go ahead and factory reset it. If it's still not working after a factory reset, I would probably recommend contacting Microsoft and having them take a look at your console as well. So that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.